In the morning, yeah, it is about the harmony in human beings, the harmony in individuals. And we study that human being is the coexistence of self, I, the body. If you look at the expansion of the self, in terms of its need, in terms of the fulfillment of the need, in terms of the activity, there is this left block, which we call as world of consciousness. And similarly, if you look at the body, with its needs and its fulfillment, with its activity and so on, you have this right block, which we are calling as world of materialism. We have to understand human beings, we have to fulfill the need of human beings. Then, we have to take care of this left block, as well as we have to take this care of the right block. And we cannot undermine any one of the two. It's not that if we take care of this, this will automatically be taken care of. It is also not true that if we take care of this, it can be automatically taken care of. You need to take care of this world of consciousness and you need to take care of this, this world of materials. In that sense, we say that for human beings, this need of happiness is of paramount importance. And therefore, this right understanding and right feeling is essential. Similarly, this need of the body, physical facility, is also important for which physiochemical things are required. So we need this. We need this. We cannot undermine any one of them. And if you ask for the priority, if you look at yourself, what do you think? The body is used as a means by the self, or self is used as a means by the body. <coughs> body is used as a means by the cell. So if you think in terms of priority, okay, which has an higher priority, self or body? Self. In that sense, this block has a higher priority over this. 
but then both have to be ensured. What we are doing is that we are just not, you know, looking into the thing of a higher priority, and we are trying to satisfy ourselves with this lower priority. <coughs> if you remember what we said the very first day, that this is enough for animals. This is not enough for human beings. For human beings, this need of the self is, has become important. The need of the body is also important. But the need of the self has become more important than the need of the body. And therefore, if you don't satisfy this part and try to satisfy human beings, it will not work. That is the whole trouble. And if you don't satisfy this and try to work only on this, your need for physical facility also appears to be undefined for you. That is the trouble. The worst thing is that if you are not taking care of this and you are working on this with the hope that this will take care of this, then you will not be able to define the need of the body, which is physical facility. That is where we, have, we are stuck now. <coughs> we think that the need of physical facility is unlimited because we are trying to fulfill the need of the self with the physical facility. The example that I had taken in the morning, that if you try to get respect out of clothes, right, then the need of the clothes will appear to be unlimited. If you try to fulfill the need of the self, you know, need of the body, with the help of clothes, then you can very clearly define how much clothes will be required. <coughs> what do you think? How many pairs of clothes will be required? Okay. If you are using the clothes for protection of the body from cold and so on. Limited, unlimited? Limited. <coughs> if you keep four pairs this region here, then 12 pairs of clothes will be good enough for you. And you can find out whether you have more than 12 pairs or less than 12 pairs. So you can see, if you do it for protection of the body, you have far more than what is required. If you do it for getting respect, then you don't know how much it is. <laughs> how many pairs of clothes? You will not be able to decide. So we have people like <coughs> like whom? There is one example. There are many examples. Now almost a few days becoming an example. <laughs> but one interesting example is that when the president of uh, Philippines, it's a very poor country, her name was Marcos, when there was a coup in the you know, in Philippines and she had to run away from Philippines. She ran away with seven planes of goods. So seven planes of physical facility. And three planes were containing just shoes. You know. Thirty thousand shoes she had. How much? Thirty thousand. Pair of shoes. No, even that is not enough. Up to some look, Karen, I say. Like when I asked you this question, how many pairs of clothes you have? So many people go back and start counting. Because this is the idea for the first time that it must be, you know, counted. And then most of them find that they are far more than what is required. You go on buying without really handing out 
whether you really need it or you don't need it. <coughs> now it will become very difficult for you to buy the new one. <laughs> yes. Very interesting. Somebody bought a shoe for 500 bucks. So you go for cheaper ones. <laughs> yeah, cheaper one, but only as many as is required, or little more than what is required. <laughs> because it's very difficult to maintain them also. Not only that you have to buy them, you know, and keep them, you know, and then whenever you have to wear one, you have to spend time trying to decide which one to wear. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you do a little bit of mathematics, you know, if, if you have 500 pairs and every time you have to decide and it takes one second to decide for one of them, right? So it needs 10 minutes every time to be here. So all that you do because you are not using the clothes for getting respect. And even when after, you know, doing all this much of exercise, you end up with jealousy instead of respect. <laughs> that is another trouble. So this was the conclusion of what we discussed in the morning, that human being is the coexistence of this world of consciousness and this world of material. And therefore, we need to take care of both. We cannot undermine any one of them. And if a priority has to be worked out, this is the first priority, this is the second priority. Because this is used as a means by the self. That is why when you find that you, know, you cannot live with happiness, you may even decide not to live. Right? You may decide to commit suicide. And who decides to commit suicide? Self or the body. <laughs> <laughs> and this is very interesting. <laughs> Who decides to commit suicide? Yes. Yes. And what does it do? Body. It kills the body. What is the No. The self is only deciding okay, <laughs> to die and in the process it kills the body. And very interesting, like in our place, in IIT, one of the students wanted to commit suicide. So he climbed up sixth floor of the you know, faculty building. We have a faculty building which is sixth floor. So he went up, jumped from there. So when he reached there, he looked down, found that it was too <laughs> so then he decided to come down, you know, he came down three floors, then jumped and didn't die. <laughs> so if you look at all these activities, you will realize all funny things is happening. And the decision is taken by the cell. And execution is done on the body. So the self is very unhappy, it is not able to live with continuative happiness. So it wants to die. But what it does is kill the body. Now if you start looking into each of your activities, you would realize what is happening. So I can you know, dish down a few homework for you, you know, exercise, which you can, you know, <coughs> try to, you know, work out. And tomorrow in the afternoon, we'll do that, you know, compilation of all that. Okay. <coughs> One exercise would be, and I would add later, later exercise, 
Exercise making a list of your desires. You have been thinking that you have a lot of desires, right? So, make a list of whatever it is. Though they must have drastically reduced, right? In the last two days. So, but, whatever is left, make a list of that and then divide them into categories. That is, find out. Whether they are related to the need of the self or need of the body. So, related to the need of the body, related to the need of the self. For example, this trust. Trust is related to need of the self or need of the body. Self. Right? Shelter. How? Need of the body. Right? So, very simple. So, just make a list and divide them in these two categories. This is very interesting. When you do that, you would realize that the desires which are related to the need of the body are very few. Right? You will start with a speed, you know, saying food, clothes, shelter, then, then you will stop, you know your speed will go down when it comes to the need of the body. But to the need of the self, you go on counting. So if you list down something like say 40 desires, some 5 of them will be related to the body, 35 will be related to the self. But don't take it, just you know, do it, do it yourself. <coughs> Similarly, you list down all your activities that you do throughout the day, right? and divide them in three categories, activities of the self, activity of the body, and activity which involves both self and the body. For example, thinking is the activity of the self. Right. But 
talking, <coughs> is involving both I, self and the body because before thinking, I have to, before talking, I have to think, right? Or you talk without thinking. <laughs> yeah, some people may do that. <laughs> like two ladies are talking to each other. You know. The one lady said, My husband can talk on any topic for two hours. The other lady said, What is so great about it? My husband does not even need a topic. <laughs> <laughs> so this talking involves both the activity of this self and the activity of the body. Sometimes you do this talking out, you know, digestion of food is the activity of the body. <coughs> So you do this homework, we will take it up as exercise you know, tomorrow in the afternoon session. We do this thing you now. I purposely left this exercise to here. I will add you know. Okay. So this is what we discussed in the morning. Let us see if there is any question connection with this. <coughs> Otherwise, what we do is start expanding on this self. Jealousy is not the reflection of the growth. This 
is the reflection of what we have as feeling in us. So if you have jealousy in you, then you will feel jealousy for so-called good clothes, right? And you may even feel jealousy for, you know, not so good clothes, right? So it, it has nothing to do with the clothes as such. In fact, this question also, when I ask this question, that if you come with an exclusive dress, okay, what do you think? Will it create a feeling of respect or feeling of jealousy? You will see, it is going to be different in different people. Okay. So some people will feel jealousy. Some people may not feel jealousy. Okay. Some people will feel indifferent. Some people who are concerned for you may feel you know, feeling of respect for you, so appreciation. So there is lot of, you know, difference in the you know, mind of the people. So if you have jealousy, a feeling of jealousy, you can feel jealousy about anything. It can be very, you know, uh, complicated, you know, clothes, or it may be for very simple clothes, right? Or you might even, you know, feel jealousy for those who are not wearing any clothes. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, we have this whole lot of competition related to the finance. Okay. How much one has given up? Okay. There is a lot of competition in the connection with even that. So it is not just related to the clothes. It, has, it is related to the feeling, related to the mentality of the person. Right? So I took this example of the clothes to clarify that somehow we have come to relate these clothes with respect, but in fact it is not related to the clothes. Right? And that is the mistake we are making. Okay? The feeling is related to feeling. That's it. So if one is not having the right understanding, and he has come to assume, you know, that there is opposition, right? And you have to, you know, kind of beat the other in this opposition, in this struggle. Then you will have feel, feeling of jealousy you know, for anything, whatsoever. It may be because of the lot of, you know, accumulation or lot of renunciation also. There is competition for, you know, accumulation. There is also competition for renunciation. So you might get into jealousy even in renunciation. So you will try to prove that you have done more renunciation than anybody else. Does that happen or not? We have many, you know, examples of this in India, I can see that we have a whole tradition which says that <coughs> if you have this hair, you know, on the head, you have to get it shaped every, you know, one month or two months, right? So you don't want to do even that, okay? So this also is a belonging for which we have to, you know, keep paying attention to. So what is done is, that you pull out that hair, right? All the hairs of the head is pulled out one by one, right? And when you pull it out once, then it does not come again. So you don't even have to shave the head. <laughs> this is called Vinchen. Vinchen is just pulling out all the hairs of the head and by hand. And just you can imagine how painful it must be. Try pulling out one hair and you will see how much pain. And this is a whole tradition, you know. Of, uh, 